There's been a recent increasing wave of reasons as to why we've decided to use Triple L for every single agency clients at Wizzle Media. Some of those are related to ads, as you might think, others related to billing. So in this video, I wanna talk about why from an agency perspective and also why from an e-commerce brand's perspective, would you want your agency to use Triple well when advertising with you. My name is Justin and I'm the founder of Wizzle Media, an e-commerce marketing agency specializing in elevating thriving brands by simplifying e-commerce growth. So I'll actually start the video with the not so obvious reason as to why we decided to use Triple Well. So one of those reasons is billing, right? As an agency, our main billing form with clients is percentage. So we take a percentage of all ad results that we generate. So of all ad profits, right? Which we calculate basically the generated ad revenue minus the ad spend. Well, here's the thing. We've recently encountered two situations that were very similar with clients essentially that had over attribution problems, but we're talking incredibly high over attribution problems. And in both cases, it happened when we added Google ads to the mix as when we already had Facebook ads running. So we had Facebook ads running for almost a year for both of these clients. Um, or I'm saying that actually one was six months, the other one was a year. Then we've added Google ads and pretty much since the day that we turned on Google ads, everything went south. And as you may know, we are an omni-channel marketing agency because we incentivize clients and we also inform clients how beneficial it can be for them to be on more than one ad platform. But here's the thing, we were doing it cold and retargeting on both Facebook and Google. And we were clearly seeing our retargeting campaigns on especially Google, pulling a lot of the sales from Facebook and it was honestly a mess. So we've had days where ROAS was as high as 30, 40, 50X just on Google itself, which again makes absolutely no sense. And then a couple months later, we also added Pinterest for again, both of these brands. And then they encountered again, a bit of a slight surge in over attribution issues. So I'm coming to you and saying that, look, if would it be again, would you be an agency owner? Would you be an e-commerce brand watching this, wanting your agency to potentially get on triple well? The thing is, if you are not using triple well, you are most likely paying your agency more than they should be paid. And it's very hard to calculate. I've actually done the exercise myself over the last few days, again, for these two brands, about how I could actually calculate a prorated amounts to give them back some credits. Because truthfully, I was looking at this and I was seeing the same thing as they saw. I'm the one who rose the issue in both cases out of good faith. I was like, look, I do think we're starting to bill you quite a lot based on you know the current the current scheme of things usually we were billing them for about like if we looked at the total revenue we were billing them for about six percent of total store revenue and then out of a sudden we're kind of bumping this up to ten percent so obviously there was a bit of a discrepancy there so i wanted to make sure that we set things right but what i'm saying is that a lot of people are overlooking they're looking at the cost of triple and they're like ah you know this is expensive just for attribution well i do believe that in both of these cases that i just solved this week they both are saving more by paying for triple well than they would be in agency fees. And again, you have somewhat of a beauty with performance-based agency like us, which basically the clients, they don't have to pay these big fees unless we do get results. But here's the thing, when we do start to scale, the bills start to stack up. And especially in this case, if you start to scale three ad platforms at the same time and they over attribute, in some cases, the attributed revenue could be higher than the overall store revenue, which again, we face these issues. So I'm saying that one of the main reasons why we're now recommending literally to every single new Wizzle Media clients to get on Triple Well is because of billing issues. We don't wanna to have to deal with recalculating these you know, ROAS deals. We don't have to also wanna deal uh, with the overlap of these platforms. Um, we've seen clients with as high as a 25% sales overlap between two sales channel, whereas others, it's about 10%. But I rarely see lower than 10% in most clients. Our average is around that 10 to 12%. And the other reason when it comes to billing is if you have wholesale orders coming through to your Shopify website. So. Some clients have not separated wholesale from their actual Shopify regular DTC store, meaning that their wholesalers are placing orders from the same store that most other clients are actually placing orders from. 
which leads to getting ad attribution sometimes for these wholesale orders. Even with triple well, here's the thing, even with triple well, you might get attributed on an ad for a wholesale order if people place orders from your regular direct to consumer website. So what I would say is look, the first thing you would want to do ideally is get one of these Shopify plans where you can split wholesale from direct to consumer. If you don't want to do that, which I totally understand because, you know, getting as an example on Shopify Plus is quite expensive, then get yourself triple well where it actually tells you exactly every single order on your store that is matched to an ad. So in that case, if we do ever get attributed for a wholesale order, the client at the end of the month can send us a list of all wholesale orders and we can just cross check the ad attributed sales to make sure that, hey, none of these wholesale orders are appearing on the triple well dashboard. If they are, we just subtract the amount to the overall ad attributed revenue and then we don't take that into account when calculating our ROAS billing. So with agency billing aside, other reason is obviously gonna be about just your general attribution fixes. Like you never know how accurate Facebook is. Don't even get me started with TikTok. Um, these platforms are not the most accurate and we usually always see the discrepancy between the reported platform ROAS and what is on triple wall. And now that we have a little bit over half of our client pool on the platform, so we have about eight or nine clients, I believe, at the time of recording this video on the triple well platform. So when looking at this, some clients are not seeing, so basically some clients were actually seeing lower results reported on triple well than the ad platform, which I would say is for maybe half of the clients that we have on there. And the other half is the opposite. So we see a higher results on triple well than what is attributed back on the app platforms, which is quite odd because there's no sort of unanimous um, situation when looking at all these clients. They, sometimes it's over attribution, sometimes it's under attribution, but you wanna make sure that you get the right attributions overall. Again, to be fair with the agency, but also to be fair with the brand, right? Because you wouldn't wanna overpay the agency as I mentioned earlier. But if now I'm kinda of talking about the other side of the coin is that you also wouldn't wanna underpay the agency in that case. But billing aside, it's actually also for ad optimizations because Triple will also help you to understand where you have the right sales on the exact ads that these came from. Whereas this is very important because it might not be accurately reported. This is specifically at the ad level where you might have some difficulties seeing the right results on Facebook as an example or TikTok. And now that I've, you know, I've recorded so many videos talking about how creative is king, you wanna make sure that you're able to analyze your creatives as best as possible. So with Triple Well's Creative Cockpit, as an example, we can actually get a specific breakdown of each of our ad creatives. We can also break those down as an example between um, single UGC creators to see how a singular creator performs. We can uh, sort of see the difference between cold and retargeting campaigns. So it tells you exactly how your ads perform. So again, at a creative level, which is something that you definitely need because where would you optimize down the line, right? This is also the thing, right? If the agency doesn't have the right data, then how can they best optimize and do their job to make sure that you get the best results at the end of the day? Because again, in our situation, we profit by getting better results because we get a percentage of these results. But at the end of the day, we only get a small percentage of those, meaning that the client profits even more than we do if we're able to get them better results which is why for anything attribution related, um, I do feel like it's a must right now. Uh, we've been getting new clients coming in, you know, wanting to spend $25,000 a day during the Black Friday period. Um, I'm like, cool, we'll do it 100%, but we absolutely need you to get on triple up because especially with bigger amounts, it becomes hard to get the right tracking just with the native tracking capabilities of ad platforms. So to recap everything, first of all, you don't wanna overpay your agency, which is mentioned earlier for all of the mentioned reasons in this video. This is why you wanna hop on triple. You also wouldn't wanna underpay them, but all in all, it's also for the attribution to make sure that they can have the right data to make the best ad decisions for you. If you're listening to this, you're within the e-commerce space, you're a marketer, an agency owner, whatever that might be, I invite you to actually click in the description down below. We have our free Facebook group where you are one of the first to know about these new videos. You also get exclusive access to one of our 25 minutes training that is just for group members. And we post almost daily on the platform. You can also ask questions in there on a day-to-day -day basis and I'll make sure to get back to you ASAP within the group. With that being said, you'll also have another link in the description down below to Triple Well itself, where you can actually get 15% off your monthly subscription. And on that note, make sure you also check out other videos on the channel for some more useful e-commerce marketing tips. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.